Today I have a quick overview of the Sabrent SATA hard drive to USB 3.0 enclosure. As we take a look into the box, it comes with the enclosure, the USB 3.0 cable, a thin pleather carrying pouch, and of course your set of documentations. Looking at the device, we have the super speed micro USB connector and LED activity light. And on the opposite side, we have the button to detach the two panels of the enclosure. On the cable, we have one side that uses the USB type A connector that goes into your computer. And on the other end, we have the super speed micro USB that connects to the hard drive enclosure. One thing to note is that this cable is very strong and very rigid. It might make it difficult to lay a hard drive down. Moving on to the pouch, it's a simple, thin, fake leather-like material to prevent any scratches from getting onto the enclosure. To use this case, you first need to press the latch that detaches the panels to gain access to the SATA connectors. Then you take your existing 2.5-inch hard drive and slide it into the connector and gently press the drive within the frame until it's settled and is snug. Once that's finished, you can now put the panels back onto your fully functional external hard drive. When your device is connected to a computer, the indicator light will blink letting you know that you have successfully mounted your hard drive. Alright, so I did a quick test and as you can see here I'm getting about 28 megabyte per second writes and I'm roughly getting about 41.2 or almost 42 megabyte per second reads. Um, it's due to my really slow 5400 RPM hard drive, but I'll try it again once I get a 7200 RPM hard drive or even an SSD so that way I can really take advantage of the full USB 3. Right, so I hope you guys like this and helps you um, decide whether or not this is a product worthy of buying. And uh, thank you for watching.